What up, guys? MacBook Pro M5 downloaded, installing all the stuff. So, and uh, you haven't seen my previous video. It was on World of Warcraft. You could check it out in my video playlist. Um, now we're testing the M5 on Spider-Man 1. Spider-Man 2, of course, still doesn't work, though it does work on Windows 11 ARM. Um, maybe when Parallels updates to support DX12, we could finally play that game. But here showcasing the raw gameplay footage with no DLSS, no frame generation. Getting about 50 frames per second. And to compare, uh, I don't have video on this, but the M1 Max was getting around 30 frames per second. <clears throat> so I noticed... Um, Kind of some bugginess i think uh on my latest video i was running the latest mac os beta um, i think it's 26.1 and this one is 26.0.1 which i had to install when i was setting up the computer but i did get gameport toolkit 3.0 b5 beta 5 which you could see on the metal hud listed on the top right so that said i had to kind of restart everything there's a dls setting on your bottle that you could turn on and you can see here um that then you're able to enable frame generation from the settings. Gotta check and out the once that is you. installed, you can see here that you're getting DLSS on, I believe, quality setting. So the target resolution is, of course, not Retina on crossover gaming playing Windows. It is half resolution of the Retina. And then there is the scaling input resolution, which is 1,000. And frame interpolator is the metal for uh, frame generation which hijacks the DLSS so you're seeing 102 frames there and if we compare on the right here where it shows the M1 Max at 89 frames per second you actually see I was commenting on the recording that it was kind of a little bit choppy there um, but you do get better frames on this M5 than the M1 Max so basically with that said if those are new to Mac gaming running Windows games on Macs I prefer using crossovers which is a tool to basically run Wine and along with Apple's Gameport Toolkit which is Apple's native or in-house developed kind of enhancements you're able to run DX12 games. <laughs> so essentially on the top right is a Gameport Toolkit or a metal HUD showcasing kind of the FPS and how it works with the thing. Um, and Installing this game port toolkit allows for you know settings to use DLSS, which I'm showcasing here, and DLS um, as frame generation, um, which basically it seems that Apple has kind of made these plugins or tools that when games call Nvidia's functions, it actually hijacks it and uses metal effects as shown on the screen, on the right with scaling and frame interpolator, which is the frame generation, basically meaning um, on device. Uh, using the GPU enhancements. So with that being said, kind of what you're show what I'm showcasing on the screen is just a little bit of testing. Um, AMD FSR actually runs on the CPU and of course the CPU has enhanced um, on the M5 with actually having the fastest uh, single core speeds. So I think that's really what helps enable, you know, even this getting to almost 120 frames per second at very high for reference on the Snapdragon X Elite, which I tested. I showcase that that uh, running on Windows 11 ARM and Prism actually only gets like 30 to 60 frames per second on this game um, and everything's set to low while the M1 delay. Max and now Officers even this M5 and everything's at the very high I can run this um, almost at 120 frames per second um, of course not retina resolution but Nasty still really right good so one of the last things I want to talk about is that with my um, YouTube channel as a hobbyist, I actually just download old videos. So I don't actually have the M4 MacBook Air anymore. And as a new time dad, I'm trying to save up for that 529K, you know what I'm saying, dog? But with that said, I looked at the previous footage and honestly, um, you know what I'm showcasing on the left is just continuation of the footage. Um, but in reality, when you turn off all the DLSS enhancements, you get still 60 frames per second. Whereas what you're showcasing on the right, obviously old Mac OS software, old crossover software, doesn't have Gameplay Toolkit. Um, but with all that said, you know, there wasn't any DLSS or frame gen um, enhancements. So basically, you know, apples to apples comparison would be if I change this footage on the left to actually showcase what was in the beginning. But you'll just have to trust me, bro. Or you can go back in the video and see when DLSS is off, all the settings are off, it's 60 frames per second. So we're actually getting almost double the performance of the M4 versus the M5. And of course, there are people who always put in the chat that the M4 doesn't have 
fans while mine uh, the m5 pro does honestly i don't think that impacts the performance as much because in my opinion from all my testing on this m5 i haven't even heard the fans turn on um so i don't know i've always said that you know unless your fans are really spinning you're probably not losing that much but with that said uh, it's been kind of my take as I've been testing out various um, okay. videos, uh, games. I've made Clear World out. of Warcraft Freshers and I plan to test out Marvel Rivals and some other games. Um, so appreciate you guys uh, following this channel and putting comments, asking questions. Um, I try to respond to all of them. Let me know your thoughts. I think the M5, M5 Pro and M5 Max are going to be insane machines. I mean, obviously, if this M5 can run 60 frames per second a Windows game, and almost hit 120 which is the refresh rate of the monitor we're up this like i feel like in 2027 they should make the refresh rate like 240 hertz or something for a promotion that'd be crazy anyways i'll see you guys in the next video peace